Hi all, Amy here, back for another video, and very sorry about the background. Sorry, not sorry, you know how it is. Um, just been for a walk this morning on the beach in Mexico here. It's a stunning resort, really, really gorgeous. The grounds are immaculate. Um, but I was just walking along and thought, the topic for this video is going to be about goal setting, because that's something that I'm hoping to get a lot more clarity on whilst I'm here um, with the other black members in the community. Um, and with Stuart and Jay, and we've got a um, JJ here as well, John Jackson, who's going to be talking us through his techniques and goal setting strategies, which I know are some of the SFM community have met J JJ on the wake up calls recently. But if you're anything like me and don't necessarily know what your ultimate calling is yet or your ultimate passions, and I know that this is fairly common from talking to people, um, just from sitting talking to a couple of other black members here. I am now looking at a strategy of basing my goals purely on feelings and setting those feelings as far out into the future as I can possibly imagine. So morbid as that might sound, the gorgeous Megan Gibson gave me the tip of writing my own eulogy. So basically starting with death, a bit morbid, but jokes aside, it's actually a really great context to put your goal setting method into. Um, so thanks Megs, that was awesome. And she knows I've been thinking about that quite a lot, making quite a few jokes about it. <laughs> if you want to have the best life possible, start with death. Seems a bit counterintuitive, but it's actually really great when you start to process that. So what would you want people to say at your funeral? What would you want your eulogy to be? And if you don't have specific sort of reasons why like I know there's people out there that say their children are their why and I, I get that but for me I'm quite comfortable at the moment so I'm finding it a bit of a challenge to get ultimate clarity on my goals so this sort of strategy or method of using feelings is really really helpful because it's just simply how do you want to feel about your life and being somewhere like this is great because it's kind of like I'm really relaxed it's great being outside, obviously the sun is shining, everyone's in brilliant positive mindset and that's a really good opportunity to sort of harness those feelings. I'm sitting here now just reflecting on the time I've had so far on the retreat but I just thought I'd share it because it's actually, it might sound simple um, but it's not necessarily something we implement so that we, a lot of people need to have more tangible goals and that's what I've been trying to figure out is what to put on paper something beyond figures you know something beyond money something that's going to be a bit more fulfilling um, and it's harder than it sounds which is probably why a lot of people don't do it but this tip of, of basing it all on feelings I thought was brilliant um, so I'm going to go back to my room now I've got a couple of hours before we're going on a boat trip which is awesome can't wait for that uh, but I thought I'd share it um, sort of make it a topic for one of my videos it's a really good tip literally just write down how you want to feel on a daily basis and, and how that fits into the rest of your life. So I hope that's been helpful. Got another, I think, five videos to smash out to get my 90 done in my 90 days. So I will get back to my hotel, got a bit of work to do, probably about an hour's worth, and come up with my topics for my next few videos and maybe share one from the boat later. Hope that was helpful, guys. I will see you in my next video. Cheers, bye.